I've always wanted to live in an art gallery where every day I get to enjoy the pieces but they are well placed. This house and Maylene, the owner, is, well, in my opinion, a quite serious collector. We love art, so over the years we collected, we bought, we went to shows and we went to galleries and we went to auctions and we kind of buy what we liked. Um, and after 10 years, we realised that we have quite a few pieces and we were running out of space. How to display this many artworks that she has accumulated through so many years? So when MCO happens, um, we were locked down and then we started looking around the house and we said that, hey, um, this doesn't do justice to the pieces that we have. A dream client to have collectors become your client because we all share the same a uh, dream sort of to want to have a beautiful space. We actually get to know the artists and I encourage people to do that. Appreciate Malaysian talent in this space much more than, than previously. I actually had the opportunity to meet Fadila, uh, Fadila Karim and, and I was just amazed with her work. It's figurative but the colours that she used are actually very unassuming and muted in many ways but it's just so beautiful to me. Najib Bamajak is another one, another artist that um, you know I liked his work. I think there is a piece behind me which is um, a little bit about transformation and it, this piece is really very dear, it's about Malaysia. Malaysia is where I grew up, where it's my home country. Um, and I think there are a lot of changes that can happen to make it a better place and he brings it he brings that message out in 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 his artwork where butterfly signifies transformation. Shafiq Nordin, so he's very witty when it comes to um, bringing out messages in terms of what's happening today. Um, that piece is called a uh, one million dollar baby. So he produces it. We have the panda, the China panda in our zoo. And then the panda delivers a baby. And the amount of money that we, you know, Malaysia as a country spent in order to take care of the, uh, the baby panda. Hishamuddin Abdullah is another uh, favourite. He is also somebody who brings across very deep messages in his work. They are also perompak of penyamun, right? Uh, in terms of uh, what they do. What's your next project? <laughs> <laughs> Buy a bigger house? No. Um, <laughs> so, um, okay, so space is a constraint when you're an art collector. Um, because of the space created, we have the opportunity to actually change the pieces. I, I actually have a hope that artists collect their own art. They, they keep and that they could give it to the next, their next generation. Maybe, it's just maybe that if nobody I know appreciate that my son doesn't appreciate my art, um, I can actually bestow some of them back to the next generation of, of the artists. Um, it is almost like a little note that says, hey, um, this is the work of your mother or father, or this is the work of your grandfather or grandmother, and um, I would like you to have it. The meaning to the person who will inherit this artwork, right? Yeah, it has to have that meaning in order for them to take care of these pieces of artwork. Yeah. But a lot of times, it is also because what the art stands for. This is also about the community, um, the heritage and the people. Yeah. The country, in fact.